Hello all, my name is Mariah. I use she and her pronouns and I'm an educator here at the California Academy of Sciences. Today, I would like to introduce you to a very interesting animal. Let's take a look at this specimen. What kind of animal do you think this belongs to? Have you seen anything like it before? Well, this belongs to an animal called a sawfish. Let's take a closer look. What do we notice? It's very long, very thin, and is covered in what looks like very pointy teeth. Well, this saw-like appendage has a fun name. It's called a rostrum, and it's located at the front of the sawfish's head. What do you think the rostrum could be used for? Sawfish often use their rostrum for hunting, so they'll thrash the saw back and forth through the sand to try to uncover any prey hiding below. Along with this hunting tactic, sawfish also use a very special sense called electroreception. The rostrum is covered in tiny pores that can detect the electric currents that are being given off by any mollusks or crustaceans that might be living underneath the sand. This is very useful because while the sawfish has eyes on the top of their head, their mouth is on the bottom. So they're able to use this extra special sense to find food without using their eyes. Do you think the saw could also be used for defense? The sawfish will use the really sharp derma denticles that look like teeth on their saw to help defend themselves from sharks, their most common predator. Despite their shark-like appearance, sawfish are actually rays, though they do share some similarities with sharks. Like sharks, rays are elasmobranchs. This means their skeleton is made out of cartilage, which makes them pretty lightweight as they're swimming around the ocean. Uh, one feature that is unique to rays, like the sawfish, is that their gill slits are located at the bottom of their body, along with their mouth and their nose. Where can we find sawfish? There are two species of sawfish that can be found near the United States. The small tooth sawfish is historically found in the West Atlantic Ocean, off the coast of the eastern and southern United States. But due to the loss of habitat, they're now only found off the coast of Florida. Similarly, the large tooth sawfish is only found now in the Gulf, Gulf of Mexico. Their habitat is shrinking, largely due to humans filling in and building over mangroves. Sawfish are often caught in entangling fishing gear and sometimes killed for their saw. This has put the sawfish on the endangered species list. But fortunately, there are people out there trying to help the sawfish. Marine protected areas have been established to help protect their habitats. Entangling fishing gear has been banned in Florida waters and those in the fishing industry are encouraged to release any sawfish accidentally caught. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed learning a thing or two about sawfish and have a new appreciation for this amazing animal and enjoyed taking a look at this incredible specimen. Thank you.